All right, well, we just heard it in the beginning. We heard Amy saying it after a sweltering weekend. It looks like another day of potentially dangerous heat. And due to that high heat, the city has decided to cancel summer schools for today. Not a lot of their schools have air conditioners. Larry Collins is streaming live with the storm track in East Baltimore. He's got an eye on the rising temperatures. Good morning, Larry. Good morning, guys. Right, we are live outside the school district headquarters where that call had to be made this morning to cancel those classes. It really is, they say, for public safety for those students who would go to some of those programs. But we do want to remind you that the summer feeding program will continue today. That's for breakfast and for lunch. This comes after a weekend that saw some very high temperatures, two days of code red warnings within the city of Baltimore. Yes. A little toasty out here. Oh man, today is a hot scorcher. It's like, I feel like 100 out here. It's probably only 92 or 93, but it feels like it could be 100 easily. I would advise everybody make sure they bring their own water bottle. I tell you, those water bottles, not a bad idea today as well, with the heat index expected to be around 104 degrees. Hydration is the key to health. Of course, we've said it all morning long, heat can be the silent killer. And here's something to remember in these extended days of heat. The effects could actually add up. You could become ill after several days of above average temperatures. During a heat wave, there's an increased possibility of death from heart disease, from respiratory illness, even from stroke. Health officials report that every year heat kills more people than hurricanes and other weather related conditions combined. I'm Larry Collins, Fox 45. Good day, Baltimore. All right, Larry, thank you. We have an update this